I grew from 500 followers to over 5,000 followers in less than two weeks on TikTok. This was not accidental. It wasn't just random. I did some intentional and some deliberate things that brought a turnaround on my TikTok account after settling on 500 followers for donkey of years. So I'm not going to hold back anything or hide any update for you in this video. I'm basically going to narrate everything I did to get that turnaround, how I achieved that massive growth in the space of two weeks on TikTok. So please stick with me to the end of this video so that you will not miss any of the points that I have put together in this video. I have summarized everything into six brief points. So it would be of a good idea if you watch the entire video so that you don't miss out on any updates. So point number one, self-discovery. Before this time of growth, I have done and tried a lot of random things on TikTok. I tried to dance to trending songs and then I realized I was just doing rubbish and I was messing up. It wasn't just the comment only, even me, myself, I knew I was doing rubbish because when you are doing something that is below standard, you also, you know, if you are being sincere with yourself, so you know. I tried to use some trending filters and all of that. It didn't work for me. I tried to do fashion and then after two videos, I, re I went to my wardrobe to count my clothes. Then I realized it wasn't sustainable for me because it's only a matter of time in two weeks. If I begin to drop video every day in two weeks, I would exhaust all my clothes. And then where do I get money for more? I will be stalled, I will be stuck, I will be exposed. So I thought that was not a sustainable idea for me. Then I look at myself, what thing am I good at doing that will not get me tired? That even when I'm in good or poor mood, I still have the ability in me, which is talking. I have ability to verbally express myself to my target audience. If my borrowed language, English language, did not go well, I am able to also communicate effectively in my mother's tongue. So I thought, yeah, yeah talking will be sustainable for me. Then I decided to stick with talking on TikTok. Before I go to the second point, please take two seconds of your time to just click on the subscribe button and like this video for me. It will go a long way for me. And also, it would encourage me to make more creative and more useful videos like this for you. So the second point, the second point is niche selection. I already figured out that I was going to talk about. Obviously, I can't talk to everybody and anybody. So out of the entire population, I selected a subgroup of people, which is Nigerians in the UK. So that became my niche. And this time around, I'm being careful not to talk about visa routes because my target audience is people already in the UK, not people looking to travel in the UK. So I was being specific with my target audience. I was being niche specific. Nigerians in the UK is still a large population under the population of Nigerians in diaspora. So I still had a decent number of large population and specific group of people to work with. That leads me to the third point, which is hashtag selections. You see, Vira, For You page, Explore page, Like for Like, Million for Million, I did away with it because I was just messing about with those hashtags before and it was basically putting my content in the front of the wrong audience. So it just showed 100 views and then nobody engages with it. So I did my hashtag research and I looked at the population of people in the UK and I looked at the most common topics to them and then I found out 10 hashtags, then I wrote it somewhere. Some of them include study in the UK, live in the UK, work in the UK, Niger UK, Nigerians in the UK, and lots more like that. I wrote them, I extracted those hashtags, and then I kept them somewhere. This is what I'll be using for my videos to place it so that it will help the algorithm to place my videos in the front of the right audience. So that's number three. Then the fourth point after my hashtag selection is content. A lot of people mention content, this content, that, and um, they don't deeply explain to you what they're actually doing. So since I wanted to be talking about informative and, and educational content, then I began to look at the issues that Nigerians in the UK are facing. I identified some pain points of interest and I decided to offer solution to it. Sometimes offering solution does not mean you have to do a lot of research. Sometimes you do a lot of research. Sometimes you share from your experience. So among some of the popular problems people are facing in the UK is um, people in the care industry, how their employers maltreat them and how some private companies rip them of their benefits. So I made a video on how to join a care worker union that would fight for them and get their benefit from them. This video surprisingly did over 100,000 views for me. Bear in mind, I was just on 600 followers then. Again, I identified another pain point of pain. Shopping is costly in the UK. And um, I have this card that I use that saves little, little money for me on every time I shop. And then I decided to make a video on about getting that card and it saves them some penny pounds and some 
some little little money that if you accumulate at the end of the month is a lot of things so i decided to make a video on that card and um, it's not as if it was a new update though people know about it but they've not been using it so i reminded them about the app about the card and um, the video went on to do fifty thousand views at this point i was still somewhere around 700 i wasn't even near to 1k again i identified another pinpoint of interest which is driving a lot of people have issues driving in the uk because they drive on the right hand side and in nigeria we drive on the left hand side so i decided to share my successful story on how i got the full uk license and the strategies i did simple step less than three minutes video and the video did nearly 50,000 views again. At this time, my followers was already pumping and going to 1,000. Then I knew that my account was going to be money. So this whole process I've been narrating happened in just three days. Then I again did not stop there. Then I saw a breaking news of population of bankers that are already in the UK. And I have met some of them before and I've had some chats with them and I have some basic information about them. So I decided to be reactive to that update. And, um, Luckily for me, the bankers in the U Nigerian bankers in the UK invaded that post. They were literally everywhere. Everything I said in that video was like spot on. It was absolutely true. And the video did over 50,000 views again. I was like, I'm on a roll. Let me just keep continuing addressing people's problems. So I also had a lot of informative and educational content like that. that I don't want this video to be too long, so I am not going to mention every of those videos. But I also have videos that I've done 40K, 30K, 20K, a lot of 20,000 views. And at the end of two weeks, my account was already above 5,000 followers. The evidence is there. I'm showing everything on my screen. So that leads me to point number five, which is consistency. I didn't make a video and I stopped there. In fact, somebody saw my video and was like, this guy has a Ronaldo work rate. For those who know Cristiano Ronaldo, you know his work rate. You know how much effort he invests into training, making himself better. So somebody actually noticed that effort and said, this guy has Ronaldo work rate. I was being consistent. Not all the videos did well. Don't let me lie to you. I have brought you videos that did 50k, 100k, 40k, 20k. Some videos did not do well as well. But I didn't stop there. In fact, there was a particular video that took me two days of research to make and it was about the taxing system in the uk and tax band i realized a lot of people don't understand their taxes i put a lot of effort in that video and i published that video i was thinking that video would even override my 100k view videos yes so the video stopped at 11k views so not all the videos did well even the ones that i expected that would do better did not perform up to expectations but i was still being consistent you can't take away consistency from the game because if you are not consistent, if you record any success, you won't be able to replicate it. But one video blew up and then it was suggesting my own other video, other related videos to other users. After some time, I, people were sending me screenshots of my videos on blogs, on Instagram. I was even in some group chats about job and life in the UK. And I didn't even know that my videos was being posted and circulated around. Somebody tagged me and said, this guy is my primary schoolmate show. And that was when I knew that. Ah, this this organic audience building is real when your video goes outside the immediate platform and people begin to take screenshot and dm you then you know that you are in for something great so lastly on consistency so even if you put in the ad work and you are not getting the results don't stop there the algorithm does not live in anybody's backyard it is so unpredictable you can just blink your eye like this and one day it decides to push your content beyond your imagination that's what happens with algorithm. So you, even when you fulfill all the righteousness and you do everything, it only puts your video in the best possible place to be pushed out. If it doesn't mean it's automatic. So without wasting much time, let me go to number six. That's the sixth and the last point, which is influence. To what I realized in the space of this two weeks growth, the number of followers is not equivalent to your audience. If you are a very informative person or you're a very educative person, you will not get massive audience like entertainers. You will not get massive follower counts like those that are doing random funny stuff and people follow them. But you see the little followers that you have, they will trust you. They will look out for your information. They will look out for your updates. They will invite you to speak at events. They will come to you with their problem. The moment you begin to attend to their problems, you're already influencing them. So a 2K followers of an account that provides informative and educative content might actually have more influence on people than somebody who just blew up with a random creative filter effect or some random things on TikTok. I'm not meaning to bring down anybody, but 
the influence is not equivalent to the number of followers or subscribers. Hmm? Once again, you can have 5,000 followers and hundreds of people want to hear from you and they want to talk to you every day. They want to come to you with a problem. They want to come to you for advice. And you might have 20,000 and people are just scrolling past and they just like it because um, that filter is trending or because they just wanted to use your comment section to also grow their page. Hmm? So the number of the follower count is not equivalent to influence. If you're a very, if you're into educational and informative content, you will not have, you will not easily have the big numbers quickly, but the little numbers that you have will be quality. So lastly, on influence, I mixed both trends and evergreen content together because trends will blow you up quickly and then it stops there. But evergreen content, even many months and many years of after making that content, people begin to search for it. Forever and ever, people will begin to search for how to pass a driving test in the UK. It's one of the contents that I've made. Some things that I've said, some certain beneficial things about, people will continue to search it and that's why the video keeps growing. Meanwhile, there are some videos that um, blew up because it was just time for trend. People were talking about jackpot and bankers and all of them. People were talking about certain topics and then because I contributed to it, then it blew up and people engaged but it stopped there. Meanwhile, some other evergreen content are every day you just see that this. If at some of them you don't even remember them, it's when you go to your profile and then you scroll down, 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 and that's when you see that, whoa, this video is even still growing. And you just see a comment of somebody on a video that you posted a long time ago, and, they, and people are still freshly commenting on it. So don't settle for just evergreen content because it might take you a long time to get there. But if you mix both evergreen content and trending content, you will get there amazingly fast, amazingly quick. So pick up bits and bats, pick up some things that I've mentioned in this video and incorporate it into your video and your content. Adjust your activity on TikTok and you'll see a massive improvement and a massive turnaround in your engagement, in your insight, in your follower count and in your real-time influence. So these are just the basic things that I did, nothing else that I did and in two, and in two weeks I got over, over 5,000 organic followers that are interested in what I say. In fact, they even make it easier for me. In the comment section, they even give me ideas for next company. If I explain about tax, somebody will say, bro, can you please explain about national insurance? Then I already have content about national insurance. If I make content about NHS job, and somebody is asking in the comment section, how about MVQ and certifications? They, your organic audience will give you, you won't struggle to get content. They will give you inspiration for your next content. So if you have enjoyed this video, or you have gained anything, or you think that anything out of what I've said is true, at any point in time in this video please do not hesitate to like this video for me subscribe to this channel if you have any questions feel free to come to the comment sessions i'll be there with you remember as i always say be good if you can be good if you can't be good for any reason in this world do not get caught you'll see me again pop up on your screen when i drop my next video bye bye